めでとうございますおめでとうおめでとうおめでとう,でとう,でとうねまあ全然ねボスのファイズイセオファーストイスフライ Olá, amiguinhos e amiguinhas que querem aprender português. Eu sou Índia. Eu sou Borracha. Bem-vindos ao nosso canal. canal. All right. Eu posso comer esse biscoito? Ok, pode sim. Eu também quero. Você sabe quantas calorias tem esse biscoito? Não sei, mas eu acho que tem muita, né? Hum, mesmo assim, eu vou comer. <risos> <risos> Depois eu vou comer. Alright, guys, so we used a lot of、uh, irregular verbs that we learned so far, and also er ending verb, come, that we learned in the last lesson. Okay, so this lesson it's gonna be er ending verb conjugations. Okay, so this is the last one of the three. Okay, so alright, there are two things I can say about er ending verbs. Okay, one,、um, out of 1,000. Commonly used、uh, Portuguese verbs, there are only 100 some IR ending verbs. So, IR ending verbs, there are not many. There are not as many as AR ending verbs or ER ending verbs. Okay, that's one thing. So, there's, there's, not, there's a fewer、okay? IR ending verbs. Okay? And You know, there are not many IR ending verbs, but the ones that are used more commonly tend to be irregular verbs. In fact, the, most of the IR ending verbs that I'm going to be introducing today are irregular verbs, unfortunately. Okay? But, you know, this is the last one of the three. After this, you know, we can do more things, right? So, let's buckle down and get started. Estão preparados? Então vamos ao que interessa! Vamos! A que hora você acorda? Eu acordo às sete horas. Eu não consigo acordar tão cedo. A que horas você e seus filhos dormem? Meus filhos dormem às 10 horas e eu durmo às 1 da manhã. À 1 da manhã? Você dorme muito tarde? Por isso você não consegue acordar cedo, né? No domingo, quando saímos de manhã, eu acordo cedo, mas sinto muito sono. Hmm. Alright, so let's look at some of the IR ending verbs here, ok? So I picked out six of them, ok? So here we go. Abri, which means to open. Consegui, which means can or to get. Dormi, which means to sleep. Pedi, which means to ask. Senti, which means to feel. Sai, which means to leave. Okay? Alright, so bad news.、Uh, out of the six verbs, only one of them follows regular conjugation pattern. Okay? Which is abri, to open. Okay? So this is the only verb out of these six verbs that follows regular conjugation patterns. Okay?、Uh, but, okay, the remaining five verbs, right? Four of them.、Uh, You have to conjugate in a regular way when you use eu, which is first person singular. Okay? And the last one you have to,、uh, for eu, você, ele, ela, you have to conjugate、uh, in an irregular way. Okay? So I guess it's not too bad. Okay? But let's see it one by one. Okay? First, we take a look at the regular. Okay, conjugation pattern. Alright, so abri.、Okay? Eu abro. Você abre. Ele abre. Ela abre. Vocês abrem. Eles abrem. Elas abrem. Nós abrimos. Okay, so eu, when you 
use ill, the conjugation pattern is the same, right? So you take off R and I and put O, okay? Abro, okay? And for você, ele, ela, it's a little bit different, okay? Usually you take off the R and that's it. But for this one, you take off the R and I, well, take off the R and change I to E. Okay, so we'll say abri. Okay, but it sounds like I, right? Okay, and uh, for vocês, eles, elas, you just take off the R and change I to E and put M, which is a little bit different from AR and ER ending verbs. And last but not least, noise, pretty much. The same, okay? So you put, you take off the R and put most at the end. So this one doesn't change, all right? All right now, so let's look at the rest of the verbs, okay? First, those four verbs that I mentioned already, uh, that you only have to use irregular conjugation pattern for first person singular, eu, okay? Consegui, eu consigo, dormi, eu durmo. Pedi, eu peço. Senti, eu sinto. Alright, so the last one, sai, okay? You have uh, you have to conjugate uh, when you use eu, você, ele, and ela, okay, with the irregular conjugation pattern, okay? So let's look at it. Eu saio, você, ele, ela, Sai. Okay, so it's a little bit different, okay, but um, well, I guess you just have to get used to it, right? All the other regular verbs that we've done so far, right, we, we have two lessons focusing on only irregular verbs, right? So, you know, like I said, uh, irregular verbs are the verbs that are very commonly used, okay? So, you know, you'll get used to it. All right, yeah. Maybe it's a little bit challenging, it's a little bit more challenging than AR ending verbs and ER ending verbs, right? But, uh, you know, this is the last one of the three, the three types of Portuguese verbs, right? And, uh, you know, there are always things that are more challenging, but, you know, you just have to spend a little bit more time learning how to do it, okay? So, uh, you can always come back to this video and learn how to conjugate IR ending verbs, okay? So now let's go to the conversation. Let's go back to the conversation and look at the conversation with Portuguese subtitle. All right, so here we go. A que hora você acorda? Eu acordo às sete horas. Eu não consigo acordar tão cedo. A que horas você e seus filhos dormem? Meus filhos dormem às dez horas e eu durmo à uma da manhã. A uma da manhã, você dorme muito tarde, por isso você não consegue acordar cedo, né? No domingo, quando saímos de manhã, eu acordo cedo, mas sinto muito sono. Hmm. Alright, so I know most of the verbs are irregular verbs, but like I said, you guys use these verbs all the time, alright? So, let's get used to it, let's go to the examples. Você consegue. Meu filho abre a porta do quarto e sai sozinho. Caio sente calor, mas eu não sinto calor. Eu não consigo terminar o trabalho até as sete horas. Nossos filhos pedem biscoito quando estão com fome. Eles dormem pelo menos oito horas por dia. Eu e meu marido sentimos vontade de treinar berimbau. Nós não saímos na chuva. Vocês gostaram da aula? Espero que esta aula tenha ajudado vocês. Alright, so, yeah, maybe it was a little bit challenging, more challenging than AR and ER ending verbs, but, you know, we've come this far, and uh, I think this is a good point where we could, uh, or you can, you know, do some reviewing, okay? We've done uh, all three types of Portuguese verbs, right? And we've done some phrases, we've done numbers, Right, we've done said and a star, very important uh, B verbs, right? So this is a good um, uh, maybe time to review all these things, right? We, we're not gonna 
jump right into uh, the you know the past tense, the more challenging stuff just yet okay we're gonna be doing a little bit more stuff before we get into it okay but uh, let's try you know we upload these videos maybe once a week maybe twice a week but not every day so you know you guys have a good uh, couple weeks to review right um, up to you know what we've done so far all three types of uh, verbs right so take your time learn these uh, learn all the things that we've covered so far and then we can move on all right and you know thank you very much for watching our videos and uh, we can you know we're putting a lot of uh, time and effort into making these videos and it would uh, be very you know nice to have more of you guys watching these videos uh, making the best you know out of these videos learning how to speak Portuguese okay so thank you very much Thank you very much. Até a próxima aula. Tchau, tchau. Thank you very much. Obrigado. 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 Thank you.